Hello, today we'll talk about the prerequisites for machine learning. My name is Ranak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Program and Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the Program and Knowledge channel. In this video, we'll talk about the skills one needs before jumping into ML. First, we'll talk about the basic skills that are required and then we'll branch out to different parts based on what your end goal is. So let's start. First, we need to understand what machine learning means with a use case or with an example. We need to know the different types of machine learning and also how machine learning can be used in different industries in the world. For this, you can check out the intro to ML video by the Program and Knowledge channel and also read multiple blogs online which explain ML better. The next thing is Python programming skills. As we all know, Python is the widely used programming language for machine learning. So we must have the Python program basics right to start learning machine learning. Again, the Programming Knowledge channel has Python tutorial videos which you can check out to get your basics right. And you can also follow different tutorials and blog posts online. The next thing is basic mathematical skills. M machine learning has a lot of mathematics involved behind the scenes and to understand machine learning properly, one must have these basics in their bags. First is linear algebra basics. We should know how to solve a linear equation with one variable or two variables. And for probability basics, we just need to know the simple, very simple basics of probability, uh, the basic formula and how probability works. After this, we can branch out to do different types based on what our end goal is. So the first is academic machine learning. If you want to produce novel research, write research papers, read research papers, build machine learning tools from scratch, and understand the deep underlying concepts, then you can refer to these prerequisites before jumping into the academic machine learning part of it. So let's start. The first thing is strong mathematical concepts. As you'll be producing novel research, new research, or try to read complicated research papers and also build tools from scratch, you should have a strong mathematical found, uh, foundation. In algebra, we must know how log logarithms work, how matrices work, how to perform matrix multiplication and things like that. In calculus, we should know what is the concept of a derivative, what is the chain rule, partial derivatives and gradients. In statistics, we should know the simple statistics basics which is mean, median, mode, then how outliers work, the ability to read an histogram and some algorithms like conditional probability. Next is intermediate Python programming. Since we'll be writing some tools from scratch and also write the code for the new type of algorithms which we read or try to implement, we should have some intermediate Python programming skills and use some complicated structures which can help us write better code. For this, we can learn list comprehensions, lambda functions and also learn some third party libraries which make our jobs easier. And the last thing is strong programming science, computer science fundamentals. As a computer science graduate or not being one, we should have some simple data structures and algorithms in our bag just to make sure that the concepts which we implement are being implemented in the most efficient way possible. This is academic machine learning. This helps you get to the academia faster and also will help you have a better learning curve than before. The next is industrial machine learning. Now, if you want to work in an industry or in a company or be a software engineer with a machine learning specialization, if you want to create new products, uh, business value and apply existing off the shelf tools to solve business problems, then you can refer to this as the prerequisite. So in a company or being a software developer with a machine learning specialization, the first thing which you need to know is intermediate or advanced Python programming. So as you'll be writing a lot of code and you'll be busy focusing more on writing code than doing research, the companies will expect you to know a lot of Python to use the tools which are off the shelf. Again, things like list comprehension, lambda functions, and also understanding how third party libraries work with machine learning. The second thing is similar to the academic machine learning part of it, which is strong computer science fundamentals, because these fundamentals will be useful no matter uh, which branch are you in, you are in. And next we come to the most important part, data analysis. So before trying to implement machine learning algorithms in a company, one must need to know what the data is, uh, what the data is trying to represent and also understand how the data works. So 
people should have a proficiency with frameworks and tools such as pandas, matplotlib and seaborn. In the upcoming videos, we'll talk about how these frameworks work and also look at them with the code. Lastly, people who would like to work in a company uh, as a software engineer or a, as a data scientist, they should have minimum Linux skills. Uh, they should have, they should know how to work on the terminal, how to work on the command line, how to use that to the benefit and also make sure that they have enough to write most of the simple code on the terminal. Now, these are some prerequisites which I feel can give, give you a better, better learning curve when you're trying to jump into machine learning. We can also explore both the branches. You can try academic machine learning first and you can jump onto industrial or vice versa. Now, let's talk about some resources. All the resources to learn these prerequisites will be in the description below and also this notion uh, document which you see here will also be in the description below. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below to ask them and we'll talk about more machine learning about machine learning in the upcoming videos. Thank you.